Okay, I came up with a name for the new gas collection device. Uh, it's an HHO flow meter or an HHO meter, and if you put those two words together, you get HHometer. So that's what I'm going to call it from now on. This is the the zero HHometer. Uh, and my last entry for tonight, <coughs> I've constructed what's called what I call the poor man's DC shunt. All right, give you a look at that. What this is is just a piece of solid copper wire, electrical housing wire, uh, strung between two 5 16 inch stainless steel posts that are simply screwed through a piece of Bakelite with a couple of pieces of uh, 3 quarter inch pine hot glued to the bottom to make a base. In layman's terms, what this is, in, in, well, let's see, let's start, let's start at the beginning. Every wire is a conductor. The perfect conductor has no resistance, and what that would mean is all the current going in one end of the conductor would end up exiting the other end. The only time you have zero resistance in a conductor is when you create a superconductor. But this is not a super superconductor, this is just a room temperature conductor, and all room temperature conductors have resistance. So if I pass a voltage and a current through a conductor that has a resistance, coming out at the other end I have something less than what went in. And where, where it goes in between is dissipated in the form of heat. Resistance Passing a current through a resistance creates heat and a power loss. Unless heat is your byproduct that you're after, then obviously it's not a power loss. Um, just a very inefficient way of heating your house, thank you. Anyhow, um, <coughs> every piece of wire and every compound that a wire is made with has a known value for its resistance. So if you know how much current you're going to pass through a given length of wire, and you know what the resistance is, you can determine pretty much pr pretty closely in advance what the voltage drop is going to be across that length of wire for a given amount of current passing through it. This happens to be about eight inches long and all I've done is um, looped it back and forth to fit between us a, a smaller space. Okay. And where I have s attached these wires that go to the post that connect to the digital multimeter I get exactly one millivolt voltage drop across this length of wire for every amp that passes through it. So when I pass 15 amps through this, I get 15 millivolts or 15 one hundredths of a volt across the two smaller terminals. I was able to put this to very good use in the car just about 10 minutes ago where I knew I was going to draw more than 20 amps which would have put the digital multimeter into an overrange condition. So I simply attach this in series with the DC power being fed to the cell, put my digital multimeter across these two terminals here, and saw right away that I'm drawing 25 amps with the present concentration of electrolyte that's in the car. Uh, and by measuring the voltage directly across the terminals, I saw I was getting 13.6 volts. So 25 amps times 13.6 volts, which I was very easily, easily able to determine with my new poor man shunt, and I found that I was getting 340 watts input into the cell. Um, I connected the HHometer to it and put out 500 milliliters of HHO in precisely 25 seconds. So if you do the math, that comes out to 1.2 liters per minute as the overall gas production at an efficiency, which is my peak for tonight, of 3.53 mmw, 3.53 milliliters per minute per watt input of energy. Um, that is roughly 50% Faraday efficient and if you again apply that to an overall uh, system that is at present running at 18% efficient, your sum total is going to be something in between and you also change the characteristics of the way the gasoline is going to burn which would which will produce more mechanical energy because more of the gas is igniting in the cylinder where it can be translated into mechanical energy rather than burning on its way out the exhaust pipe 
uh, where it's simply lost as heat. I think I've accomplished enough for tonight. I had to open up the garage door to run the engine to uh, take that measurement, and it's cold in here, so I'm going to call it a night. Everybody have a good evening. I'm going to go in and blow my nose, and uh, tomorrow hopefully we'll pick up where we left off.